And now, storm tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Threat tracker for the next 48 hours tonight. No new snow. We're in the green. Tomorrow, we got yellow and green. What does that mean? <laughs> well, yeah, you blend it. Yeah, maybe purple. That's what Matt said. Uh, yellow Friday Falls, that means a chance of snow. Green, though, for Pocatello. So, so we should be snow free as far as any snow. And then yellow for everyone on Saturday. And that means a chance of rain. Mm, yeah, that means we're going to, yeah, start to warm up a little bit. Storm tracker, clouds, radar together. You see, you'll see a few clouds lingering from our latest storm. Here comes the next one. This one up around Coeur Lane is what's going to give us a chance of snow for the Upper Snake River playing tomorrow. So any place north of Blackfoot all the way up to Rigby, Rexburg, St. Anthony, certainly in the mountains and highlands. As we zoom in, you can still see a little bit of snow lingering over the Tetons. Driggs right now at 18 degrees. Temperature just dropped in Montpelier. We're at 12 there. Island Park in the single digits. 11 in Dillon, but but it feels colder with the wind and 24 right now in salmon. Now tonight temperatures will bottom out in the single digits in Dillon. We'll end up with a minus three in Island Park. If that doesn't seem like February, well, then I don't know what is. What well, would seem like it? 13 below for a low in Yellowstone in the single digits in Jackson and whew, Afton. Get out the electric blanket. Temperature's not quite so cold in the Snake River Plain in the 20s, but you factor in the wind. We're talking wind chills in the teens overnight. And then tomorrow, we'll warm up. We'll get above freezing. These temperatures, though, pretty close to where we typically are for this time of year. So I guess we can't complain, right? We've been spoiled lately, just above freezing for high and dregs. 10 degrees colder than that in Island Park. Mackey, you'll get barely above freezing with a high of 34 degrees. Seven day forecast as we look ahead. Uh, there's your Saturday, a chance of rain. And wow, we just can't get rid of the wind around here. At least it'll be warmer. We got wind for your Sunday, a chance of snow. Could see snow on Monday, but notice how temperatures will be colder next week. Wow, take a look at these numbers and the single digits in Idle Falls for a couple of nights. We got a potential, of course, snow tomorrow, and that wind just keeps coming clear through Sunday. Could see more snow Sunday into Monday and maybe some rain in between. Rexburg seven day forecast, perhaps snow tomorrow. Warm enough for some rain uh, on Sunday, a chance of that, and maybe some more snow Sunday and Monday, but we're in for a windy one this weekend, Rexburg. You folks have had it a little easier than the rest of us as far as wind, but fortunately, we're going to share some of that love this weekend. Now, for the Teton area, we got a lot of snow through the weekend, Monday, and a chance of more snow on Tuesday, a break finally on Wednesday, and uh, keep those snow shovels handy. You'll need them again next uh, Thursday. Now, for the Central Mountains, we got a chance of snow tomorrow, then rain and snow on Saturday as we warm up a bit, back to all snow, at least the potential of it, Sunday, Monday, and look how cold it will be next week. High temperatures in the 20s for three days and lows at night in the mm -hmm. single digits.